Are you financially conscious? Or what about, are you more or less financially conscious than the average Aussie? Or even, how does your financial consciousness compare to your friends, your family, and your co-workers? Well, that's exactly what we're gonna be talking about today, and I'm gonna give you a link so you can find out. But before we get into it, guys, let me introduce myself. My name is Tim Guest. I'm Australia's leading financial educator and the managing director of Infinite Wealth, and welcome to our Just Ask Tim video series, where you can get all your questions answered on anything finance, real estate, and investment related. Now also, please like, comment, and share this video. And if it's your first time tuning in, welcome, and don't forget to follow or subscribe wherever you're seeing this. Now our question today comes from Chris, and he asked, as we don't get taught about money, how do you know what you do and don't know about money? Now it's a common question that I get, and without the right resources, it can be hard to find out. So one way is by using the Financial Conscious Index. Now this was commissioned by the comparison website uh, uh, compare the market and developed by Deloitte Access Economics last year. Now it's a multiple choice test which measures various factors that make a person financially conscious, from sophistication and well willingness to capability and wellness. And it combines questions about interest rates, savings and investment strategies with more subjective ones like what best describes your approach to finances. Now last year the average Australian scored 51 in this financial literacy quiz. 12 months later, the bare minimum passing grade has slipped into failed territory with the average Aussie now scoring 48 out of 100. Now the results from 3,000 individuals this year suggest that 7.5 million Australians are struggling financially, nearly two million more than last year when the test was first run, and they may be struggling to pay their bills, not saving money regularly, do not feel like they have job security, and would feel financial pressure if they were to fall out of work. The report found the higher the income and education, the higher the person's FCI score, with those on less than $40,000 scoring 43 on average compared to people on 190,000 scoring 58. Couples living together, whether it was with or without children, also scored better, and that was partly to do with their higher combined income. Also, your FCI scores got better with age, but it started to drop off after 70. Now, I've put the link in the post below, so make sure you click on the link, get in there, do your quiz. It's about 10 questions, and we'll take you all of about five minutes make sure that you then post your score in a comment box below. Apart from that, guys, that's pretty much all it for me, but just remember and stay tuned because we do also have our The Wire video, so The Week in Real Estate, where you can get all the top stories happening from The Week in Finance, Real Estate, and Investment. That'll be later all the week, so stay tuned for that. Uh, but apart from that, guys, that's it for me. Don't forget, guys, there's only one thing in life that makes a difference. That's action. Have a great day.